Welcome back to Ferocious Education, this is Zed. Today we're talking about the ticker GTLL going with Global Technologies Limited. Now this is a speculative play and let's jump right into this one. So as a speculative OTC play, there's a couple of things we need to understand in this, including the risk and volatility. This company here, or this holdings as they're off, has different subsidiaries underneath. So something like sector technologies, industry science technology, and office of holding companies. Now they're based in Florida in the States. And we're going to move on towards some of the SEC filings and news to try to get a better perspective of who they are. But before doing there, we're going through three different companies that this one holds. For instance, the first one, Markets on Main, which is a portal to multi-channel sales and distribution. It is based again in Florida. It was actually formed in April 2nd, 2020. MOM is, a, is an A full service sales and distribution third party logistics provider portal to multi channel sales opportunities. MOM's focus is on bringing small businesses and entrepreneurs to large opportunities and distribution. MOM will provide the following services to clients inventory management, brand management, fulfillment and drop ship capabilities, retail distribution, customer services. MOM's website can be found on here. And so uh, this one definitely looks like it's a new startup uh, less than a year, well, a bit more than a year ago. Uh, and well, actually almost exactly a year ago, April 2nd, my bad, 2020 to 2021 seems a long time. But anyway, they have these uh, different companies as well. They're working with 911 Help now is actually another part of uh, the main company as well. So that's something to consider. In terms, they have services, they have partners, etc. But in terms of everything going in between, they're still a startup. So moving on from here, we have M H M N R T H Human. I'm guessing this is the human difference, human Earth, human Earth. Yeah, I guess human Earth. There we go. Uh, it was formed in Delaware in July 30th, 2019. So it's another startup less than two years ago. The company business model is to bridge the gap between lifestyle knowledge components with the cannabis industry. The company's goal is to educate every consumer while cultivating an experience by providing quality products, cutting edge products and diversified product lines for any purpose. Most importantly, we want our clients to discover their inner human, redefine their inner human, and empower their inner human. In September 2019, the company entered into a quality agreement with uh, Neutral Life Bioscience for developments and production of CBD line products. The company's product line includes hemp derived full spectrum cannabo cannabodial uh, tentacures and creams in varying sizes. So who we are, they have their vision in there, their values, etc. And some of the products they're looking for is basically CBD uh, extract. So they're FDA and GMP compliance by third party warehouse that is registered with Food and Drug Administration and follow as manufacturer process standards. Industrial hemp derived extracts or products derived from industrial hemp. And therefore, they don't cause any psychoactive high effects caused by THC, mostly found in marijuana plants engineered for the highest quality and USA manufacturing. And moving on towards the last one here, 911 Help, which was formed in February 2nd, 2018, around three years ago. Their 911 was a holding company of intellectual property in the safe uh, in the safe and security space. At present, we own no intellectual property within our 911 subsidiary or 911 in order to generate future revenue with 911 we will need to identify either or acquire intellectual properties. In the event of an acquisition, we will then need to either develop the products utilizing intellectual properties or license our intellectual property to a third party. There's no guarantee we'll be successful with an acquisition or licensing of any intellectual property. Right off the part, that's a little bit unsettling, but okay. So they are a holding company of intellectual property with no intellectual property held in the last two years, but you scroll down a little. And you start finding uh, some of these, I guess, products that are there that you can buy now. Um, and if you were to go ahead and click, for instance, and buy, you're able to get get them on their website, 911 Help Now. Uh, and yeah, so they have different products. Uh, I guess they also sell products or almost like merch in this sense. Uh, but in terms of their main operations, looks like they are more of a holding company 
rather or an IP holding company rather than a merch company. So that sums up their subsidiaries and uh, we're looking into some of their latest SEC filings. So this one here, uh, it's regarding the OTC trading board uh, and it's going to be tradable on OTC BB, which is what it has been. And there would be around $200,000 uh, raising and offering prices at the price of the market. So raising more money there. And we do have a bit of an SEC filing regarding December 31st, 2020 results and September 30th, 2020 regarding both their current assets and also their current liabilities and revenues. So we see that currently total assets are $1.2 million compared to around $1.8 million just three months prior. So I guess right now it would probably be lower. I don't know. Total liabilities though has increased significantly. Currently, from September 30th, 2020, you're looking at 3.7 million and you jump in towards December at the end of the year to 22 million. So a massive, massive increase in liabilities and decrease in assets. And let's take a look in terms of how much money they're burning. In terms of revenue, they have reported zero revenue. So no revenue. Now, in terms of loss from operations, you're looking into the three months ending for September 30th. Total other expense or actually net loss here is around 515,000. You go to a net loss in terms of 2020 in the last in the end of the month, they they've gone around 19 million dollars. Now, a big part of that is from derivative liability of around 18.5 million. Although loss from operations currently is 137,000 compared to around 68,000. Quite interesting. Quite interesting numbers as you get to see, and we can move on towards some of the SEC filings uh, regarding the complaints. So, this is a complaint that they've actually filed for uh, on judgment in the circuit court for 11th Judicial Circuit in Miami-Dade County, Florida. Uh, and basically the complaint cites errors and improper inclusion of transfer that are void of fraud or want of consideration. And the plaintiff is not seeking any money relief action, but rather a declaratory uh, decree estab establishing that the transactions with the named defendants are void, erroneous, or cancelable. So that is another thing they're involved in this kind of lawsuit. But other than that, SEC filings are almost empty in that sense. And before moving on towards technical analysis, if you'd like to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and leave notifications on for this channel. If you'd like to join our Discord, you can talk to me on there. It's totally free. Let's jump right now into technical analysis. Now, on a technical analysis perspective, we're seeing that the tennis MA is above 30 EMA on a one-week perspective. And what you're seeing here is that this is a trading action zone, right? So above that 0.005, uh, you can get to see that there's a positive chance of a positive reversal and so also on the macd here we're seeing something a bit opposite which is an attempt for a negative reversal here as the macd going negative although momentum is clinching above zero so it's a little bit of double things multiple things going on at the same time and we need to look into a one day perspective and on a one week perspective what we're seeing is that it's more of an accumulation on the macd adx shows a sloppy movement even though it's highly highly oversold on the adx perspective Currently, 30 EMA is above 10 SMA, so that's a bearish part. And above that, you need to cross the 0 0.009 for it to be bullish back again. Now, on the moving average band, you're expecting this one to trade on the Bollinger Band on the top, 0 0.011, and on the bottom, 0 0.005. Moving average band on the top is 0 0.008, in the middle, 0 0.008, and in the bottom, 0 0.007. When it comes in towards stochastic fast and stochastic slow, what we're seeing here is that this one here is more of an accumulation zone than anything, and it might be actually an interesting time to buy, so we need to look into the supports and resistances. And in this case, we see a Fibonacci significant support sitting at the 0.005 level. The next resistances are 0.009, above there, 0.011, and then above there, 0 0.014, 0 0.018, 0 0.022, and then all the way up to 0 0.036. And then we need to take a look into a price line action. We need to signif signify the levels of support and resistance. So in here, 0 0.005 slash 6, that's an important range. 
So 0 0.006, 0 0.005, and a very, very strong one at 0 0.004. If it breaks the 0 0.004, we're in trouble because that is one of the latest, last strong supports we can hang on. Now, the current resistance is 0 0.007. And then above there, you're looking at 0 0.009. And then above there, 0 0.011. And then you can start seeing higher results, 0 0.014, 0 0.019, and then 0 0.026. Comes to the question to Ed, what do you think about this one? It is a very high speculative play with a lawsuit currently going on. And I covered that in my last video before on it too. And there's a lot of holdings that are mainly startups. So it is not a well-established company in terms of revenues after looking into their 10 quarters or their quarters, the last ones, quarter four, 2020 and quarter three, 2020. Things are looking like it's free revenue. They're spending a lot of money. It's kind of pushing me away from it a little. Now, what do you think about the sticker? Make sure you mention down in the comments below. Share, subscribe and like. Have a wonderful day.